This is really starting to feel like the olden days. A multi-pack, a new multi-pack with new cars. Wow, what a crazy idea. I think Mattel forgot about that for the last four years because they've been pumping out all sorts of multi-packs. You know, five packs exclusive to Walmart, 11 packs exclusive to Target. Heck, one just came out a couple weeks ago. You can see back there, I had the absolute joy of finding and purchasing it the other day 11 pack of 11 duplicates and they're all made in thailand which they just started making thailand cars in 2018 and believe it or not all 11 of them have already been released from thailand so we don't even get a new variant but here we are just like for the debut of cars 2 and cars 3 with a new target exclusive four pack i remember on the debut of all the cars 2 merchandise going to target and getting that ronnie del cooper exclusive set then cars 3 you get that fireball beach four pack with the sandy mcqueen and Cruz and the luigi with checkered flag and guido it was awesome and here we are the same exact thing for Cars on the Road, the upcoming Disney Plus series. And this might be one of the best four packs of all time because we have two brand new characters, very exotic, very different characters. You get McQueen's new on the road paint scheme. And yeah, Mater, who really cares about him because he is not different. Anyways, welcome back to another review. Today we have the Showtime Story Pack exclusive to Target. Now, you wanna get it out of the way. McQueen and Mater in this set are the exact same as the singles you will find in Case K and onwards. Now, that does not mean that you can find them anywhere because for whatever reason, the case has not hit the United States yet in terms of retailers. Only resellers, individual resellers that Mattel has, have been able to obtain them. That's how I got my Case K that I unboxed a couple days ago. And I'll leave the link for that in the description below and card suggestion pop up. If you're in Canada or Australia, though, you can probably find that case with somewhat ease, I'd hope. And so that makes this four-pack the first Cars on the Road diecast available in the United States of America. Let's give it up for these two circus clown pitties here and plain, I guess I should say. That's, you know, that's a pretty big achievement. We've obviously gotten the color changer stuff. Mini racers on Amazon, but this is, yeah, officially the first die cast available in the U.S. for the show. All right, let's dive right in here. Now, I got this on eBay because I'm not lucky enough to find it, and I'm actually glad. I actually went to Target, well, I think it was the same Target twice since I bought this, and I'm glad I honestly didn't find it because I would have been upset myself for overspending, but I know it's available in my state of Illinois. I saw someone else find it. But yeah, there you go, Cars on the Road logo. You have the metal icon there. And I absolutely adore that the box is decked out in the map that we see, you know, behind all the blisters of the on the road stuff, whether it be a single color changer or playset. So it's just that map design broadcasted on, you know, most of the box here. So it looks really good. You have the salt flats there. Love how it shows the rivers and the kind of elevation as well. What else do we have here? We got a little cactus clump over here, some mountains. Now this gear here indicates that it's for the circus. You have the tent right there. Don't see any other locations. Oh, here we go. We can see Willie's Butte. And then that also might be the circus. 42, that must be the road, I would assume. And then this is a river. Pretty cool. You also get a look at the new artwork for McQueen and Mather, which is the exact same, again, on the single versions here that I showed you. Yeah, we'll get into all the die casts in a bit here, but it's a very nice looking set, very aesthetically pleasing. On the back here, Showtime Story Pack, Baquete de Showtime Story. We get stock images of Road Trip, Lightning McQueen, and Road Trip Mather. Now, don't be fooled. Again, like I said, this Mather is no different from the regular Mater they've released for the last few years from Thailand. I don't know why they had to rename him, and if they were going to rename him, they might as well change his expression. So yeah, don't be fooled, he's not any different. Then you have the Circus Stunt Performer and the Circus Stunt Biplane. Really wish they gave these guys names, but honestly, I, I, mean, I highly doubt these will, I don't know, they might not even speak in the show because they seem to be like background characters that are performing in the circus show and i doubt that 
you know, obviously we saw in the trailer a whole bunch of the performers. Now I think we only see the pity. The pity might be on the poster. Maybe the pity is in the trailer. We don't see the plane at all. So maybe the plane actually has more of a role. Who knows? We did see both at the San Diego Comic-Con. So we knew that they'd be coming pretty soon. And it also shows here how you can kind of maneuver the sign. I don't know what these like transparent boxes are that they put on top. Maybe we'll see those in there. I don't know where those come from, honestly. It literally looks like just ghost boxes they have to secure the sign to the ground. So we'll see what that is, but they call it, oh, oh, those are gate stands. Awesome. Look, four vehicles, one gate and two gate stands. That's actually really awesome. I can't wait to see what those are like because I don't see the gate stands in there. They are really cool. I'm actually really happy about that. Yeah, I do kind of wish they named them. But I understand why they didn't. It's really not that big of a deal. But yeah, I'll be right back with this set all opened up. As much as I was excited for this pack, it reminded me how much I hate opening multi-packs. God, they suck. I swear Mattel finds a new way to make it inconvenient and cumbersome each time. Like this time they put tape over, as you can see, the entire bottom where they have everything like strapped in. You know, there was a piece of tape covering this entire thing. So it was not easy for me to get that off. And I'm also trying to navigate around this because these two prongs here stuck out underneath the box. So they're like down there while, you know, the rest of it's up there for display. And I'm trying not to bend it. I'm not trying to cut it or anything like that. I'm also not trying to like puncture the cardboard and scrape one of the cars. And then once you start getting them out, you know, some of these are in there with the rubber bands. Some of them are just in there, you know, well, the pity was in there much less securely because it's smaller. So it was just in there in that mini blister pouch with tape and the little prongs underneath. God, it was annoying. And in that entire process, I don't know if I chipped or if it came this way, but it seems like the heel of the landing gear here, if we can focus in, I know we'll get to you later, Pity. But you can see here, oh man, we are struggling right now to focus. But yeah, there's like a little mark right there. It's plastic actually, so it's not really like a full on chip and it doesn't look super terrible, but kind of disappointed about that. You know, my brand new plane here from the multi-pack that would be rather hard to replace. But oh well, everything else is looking good. And of course we got the gate stands, which we'll check out right now. This came out super nice and I was not expecting this at all. This is a complete surprise to me. It came in this nice bag. Let's check them out. Like they are some hard plastic as well. Like, look at that. This is hard plastic like they used in the motor speedway, the south set with those clamps. That's honestly what these remind me of. Not a big fan of the big barcode. Well, not really a barcode, but the big code right there. I feel like that's a bit unnecessary. R19A. Okay, great. We know when it was made the 19th week of 2021 at the A factory or 2022 in Thailand. Man, that is gross. Why did they have to put it in black? That is so noticeable on the transparent plastic. Dang, they marked these up like they're actually cars. All right, no worries. I guess they figure, hey, the $20 you're paying for this, that goes for the cars. These are bonus, so you shouldn't complain at all. <laughs> but yeah, you slide it in there like that, and there you go, I guess. Not super sturdy. I feel like that's a lot of plastic for something that doesn't even like hold it up all that well. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Oh, yeah, I am. I am. I am. They want you to get a little bit more into that sleeve there. Maybe I'm not doing something wrong. Yeah, it still kind of tilts. It's hard. There you go. You can get it straight right there. Yeah, that's a lot of plastic they're using. Look how much plastic. Like, what is this over here? This whole extra space here. Like, what did they need that? That's very wild to me. <laughs> Just feels completely unnecessary, but the gate, as they call it, is pretty nice. Circus Velocitas. You can see all the gears and everything, and I'll put a picture on the screen of what it looks like from the trailer now. You can do a little comparison. I think they did a decent job to replicate it, you know, albeit in cardboard. They even got some of the bushery down there. The shrubbery. Yeah, that looks good. I'm glad they included it. Definitely will look nice in the background. Although, again, I don't know about these gate stands. Like, I guess 
the intent was good, good intentions, but like this is humongous. It doesn't look that great. And the code right there is just ugly. Jeez, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we'll play around with that a little bit later. But yeah, all right, let's start here with Mather because he's obviously the most boring. I'm just going to compare him to a previous Thailand release of him and prove to you guys that he's really nothing special, not different at all. Watch there be like some major difference and I'm just like, oh my God. So the colors are a little bit different. Like I feel like that's a little bit more of a bright green, more of a sullen green. But everything else is pretty much the same. A113 for the license plate. I always liked how they detailed this bumper back here. Very dirty, very rusty. Looks pretty good. But yeah, everything is the same. Let's see when this meter was produced. So R21, so two weeks after the gate stands. <laughs> That's interesting. What about this one for laughs and giggles? MO6A, wow, that was a while ago. That's like 2018 or something. I don't know. They skipped one of the letters, so it's always confusing me to like think backwards. I only know like R is the year we're in right now. All right, so there you have Mater. And now here we have on the road McQueen or Road Trip McQueen. This is the exact same as we reviewed yesterday, or at least it should be. The reds do look a little different though. This looks to be a little darker red than the one in the single. So that's kind of intriguing. Do we already have a variant? <laughs> no way. I don't know if it's enough to call it a variant, but I can definitely notice a little bit of a difference in the color red. Cars on the road, RS. So yeah, guys, check out my review of this guy from yesterday if you want all the details, all the comparisons. The rims look pretty good. Yeah, this is just going to be a little overview. We won't do the full on review because we just did it yesterday. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think it's enough to call it a variant. Maybe the red is just a little bit darker, but overall everything is the same. And let's see when he was produced. R18A, so he was made now a week before the gate stands and three weeks before Mater. I hope I didn't mix them up just now. I hope I did not just mix them up. I don't know. Either way, I'd be able to check. Yeah, I definitely didn't mix them up because I could tell that this is still the darker red. But yeah, either way, I just checked the video yesterday and see what date stamp this one was. So I'll always know which one was which. But yeah, this is the multi-pack one. All right, let's move on to the pity now. You guys got to let me know. Well, actually, let's see if I can find an image of him first from the show. And actually, it's wrong of me to assume it's gender. Could be a him, could be a her, could be anything. Hopefully, we get a line from some of these clowns or circus performers in the show, but I'm not counting on it. They kind of remind me of the Demolition Derby racers or the Piston Cup racers or the World Grand Prix racers and that they're just kind of background father and don't really have major parts, even though Mattel releases them as some of the first cars. Like I remember I knew the World Grand Prix racers would be some of the first that Mattel released for Cars 3 and yet you know all but like four of them were silent, which I was a little disappointed about. But yeah, this one's really nice. I was really looking forward to this pity. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. Ever since its inception, we saw it leaked from a Thailand Facebook group. And the base is very tiny here. You can still see Disney Pixar made, or it just says Mattel Thailand. And no date stamp on this one. So that's odd. I love how they put the date stamp <laughs> on these, but they don't put it on the pity. That just seems a little ironic. But yeah, he's got yellow forks here. He's got a plastic red nose, which looks awesome. That's a separate piece from the main metal body. And a very nice clown type design here. Some stripes, a couple black dots up there. For the makeup, I would assume. Polka dots, swirls, all sorts of stuff. Some colors. Now, it does appear that the base is metal as well. I think the base might actually be metal. It definitely looks glossy. So that's interesting because usually the base on these are plastic. But yeah, there's a clear difference there. Like that's glossy, that's not. So wow, this might be a full metal pity here, which they did with Millie last year in 2021. Now this pity kind of, kind of, I stress the word kind of, 
shares the model as a couple other pitties here, starting with Alex Makino and Adam Park, who are two of the World Grand Prix pitties for Francesco Bernoulli and Carlo Veloso, respectively. Clearly, they're not the same. Like These are bigger, but they do share that rounded pity model, which we're not used to seeing. We've had a couple of them, but most of the pities are very squared off, like Chick Hicks here, whether you know it's a smaller, bigger, wide, you know, they're like three main sizes, you know, wide, small, and tall. This is your tall one. So that would be Stacy. The who else we got? Oh man, how am I blanking? The canceled mood springs pity, obviously. But yeah. Then you have the small pity, which would be like my name's not Chuck and Luke Pella work. The wide pity would be like Trunk Fresh Pity and Mike Stockar. So you can see on the World Grand Prix pities here, all the curves are just a little bit more profound. I love that the little suspension and wiggle room that they give on these pities here. Like, look at that. You can really move them around and everything. They have great turn radius. Pity. Circus Pity kind of has that, but the wheels are definitely smaller. Very small wheels for sure, actually. Look at that. Wow. Very small. Even smaller than Guido's, maybe. Mm, it's possible. Yeah, they do look pretty small. Mm, they look pretty similar, actually. Now, the one that probably shares its model mostly is Jessica Jam Patrol. Although I do think, yeah, I guess this one's... Mm, so it doesn't have the hat, which does make it closer to the Circus Pity. All these other things are just clouding our vision right now. So yeah, just pretend you don't have the big visor, the big face shield there. You don't have the forks lifted with the beaker in it. Like, yeah, that's all some cars to all in all jargon and goofiness but yeah you know it's funny actually they are re-releasing jessica this year in a two-pack with nate stanchion that's the same exact two-pack they did in 20 i think it was 14 yeah it was 2014 when they were first released and so a whole bunch of people are kind of theorizing like hmm did mattel know ahead of time they'd be doing a circus pity like this and so therefore is that why they also decided to release jessica jam patrol and oh is that also why they decided to release a bunch of other characters from that scene the mel dorado show like lee race and then oh let's just expand over to the cars that we're watching like revni griante and colin Borev. yeah yeah some major theories going on there but i actually think Obviously, the Thailand version of Jessica with that you know two-pack and all that hasn't been released yet, so we can't say for sure, but I would assume that the model will still be this larger version here, but it'll be very interesting to see if they reduce the size of Jessica, because again, this is your Chinese original 2014 version of her, if they reduce the size to match this pity, because otherwise everything is the same, you know, it's the same exact thing, you just take out the clown nose and you change up the fork which is just a plastic insert anyways you put on the face shield and bam you're good right so it'll be interesting to see what they end up doing we did see a leak of the thailand jessica but no comparison pick so we don't really know that'll be really cool honestly a lot of people's theories might get debunked from that if they are different sizes there was another model i think oh yeah yeah, Zen Master Pity, I think, because we see in the trailer there's some other Pity that shares that model, I think. There's like a three-wheeler. All right, moving on to probably the highlight from this set, and that is the biplane here. Although, not a biplane. I'm pretty sure that this would be a biplane because bi meaning two refers to the double, the stacked wings right there. By the way, I'm going to do a fun little comparison with the Pity after so we'll get to that. I want to show you guys. I want to save that for the end. That's pretty exciting stuff. A little surprise for you. But anyways, yeah, continuing on here with the quote-unquote biplane, the not-so-much biplane, very similar to El Chupacabra's model. So I don't know. This is pretty cool. Maybe it's a sign that the planes will somehow make a return in cars on the road. But yeah, they do share similarities in their models. Now, granted, different wings and everything, but... For the most part, yeah, they are pretty gosh darn similar. The engines here do look a little different. Like, see, El Chupacabras is larger. It is plastic. Both of them are plastic, but this one's smaller, and it's just very even with the metal body there. This one has a ridge. 
The propellers are different, but they are both large gray ones. Let's see about their models. This plane is smiling way more. Al Chu just had kind of a grin, the typical Al Chu up to no good shenanigans <laughs> with Rochelle. Now I do like the paint finish they used here on the plane. It's something we've really not seen before. It has a really unique texture. Even if you run your finger across it, the wings are plastic here. These ones are, the ones back here are metal, but both have the same texture. It's kind of like a rough texture so you can feel the glitter in the paint. Really interestingly done, kind of a satin finish almost, but also a little sparkly and almost metallic. It's a really interesting design. I love how this, you know, all these circus cars aren't just repaints of each other. It's not the same design, copy and pasted over and over again. This one has a very unique look with some sort of red flame design maybe, or just some sort of random circus design here. Looks really good. I love the chrome landing gear here. That looks so cool. Really, really nice. Again, you got the blue down here, which matches his main color. Now, again, this is not really a knock on the design. It's more of Mattel's quality control, but you can see how loose this one landing gear piece is here. You can see how much it's jiggling up there. And that one doesn't move an inch. So yeah, something's a little up with mine. I don't know, it just didn't get clamped in all the way. Yeah, really nice, made in Thailand. Its date stamp is R21A, so the 21st week. And then you have a little nub right here, and you can actually tell it's made to look like a wheel. You can see like the triangle from the axle there, and then a circle for the wheel, which the reason I'm pointing that out is because before they would just do literally a nub, like legit. When I say a nub, I mean a nub. But here you actually have the quote unquote nub emulate landing gear, like an actual tire there. One of these days, I swear they'll actually make this a real tire. <laughs> Probably not though, but in all the planes that have the front, the front two tires in the front or the two front ones there, it'll just be like a nub. But when you get a plane like Aishani, where you have the front one in the front, or like you have one and then two, one in the front, two in the back, that's what I'm trying to say. And you know, Rochelle is just like that as well. Miguel. That's another one, Joey Dundee, all those ones where you have one in the front, two in the back, then they are all functioning tires like this, but when you have two in the front, one in the back, you get the nub, unfortunately. Now you can see the color around his eyes is this beige cream that matches his hood up here, but he has the aviator hat on, the whole kit and caboodle there. Reminds me of Aviator Mater, the whole hat, mask. Very nice. I do like his expression a lot. Love how he's kind of looking off to the side there instead of the typical just looking straight on. But yeah, this is a nice release for sure. And yeah, quite a few differences from El Chupacabra. You get different side wings. You get different back wings. Different nubs back there. But they do look very similar. Like, there's no getting around that, but they certainly did make some changes to the model. I mean, it's been, what now, like seven, six or seven years since they released El Chupacabra, so it was bound to happen, especially now that he is in Thailand. All right, so I'm pretty sure that is all for the reviews of each of these guys here. We're going to pull up, well, actually, we need to pull up a couple of these other clowns here that they've done in the past. We can't neglect the Circus Troop, the Super Chases from 2015, some of the best releases Mattel has done. And yeah, look at our new friend fits right in here. All three of them have the clown nose. Of course, the other one that has the clown nose is the Circus Pickup here. Wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool looking. All of them are different sizes too. Wow. Yeah, two Circus Pities now. Both of them are very different. I yeah, never would I have thought in 2015 when this guy got released that we'd eventually have another Circus Pity. Completely different though. Yeah, let's see how the entire Circus Squad kind of lines up here now. We got the plane. You get up here a little bit more. Put you over here. You get the forefront. 
like you, Circus Sedan over here, and Circus Pickup. Yeah, let's go. I love it. Let's put up this silly sign now. Yeah, these gigantic plastic barriers here make absolutely no sense to me. But yeah, that actually looks pretty cool. That might be screenshot worthy. How about I clean up the background here and make it official? There you guys go. That's your new background for your home. That's your new lock screen. But yeah, guys, another long, long video for you guys. And it's not over yet. I want to surprise you. All right, guys, this is kind of mind blowing. So prepare yourself, like sit down, put the drink down, put whatever you're doing down and just listen carefully. Let the dramatic music start playing. Bum, bum, bum. What is that logo back there? What is that little yellow emblem right there? Kind of looks weird. It is an actual texture. It is not just painted on. I could feel it with my finger. I feel like I've seen that before. Bum, bum, bum. Oh my God. So in fact, they did reuse this model. Almost down to the T. More closer than Jessica GM Patrol. More closer or more closely than Adam Park and Alex Makino, you have the canceled airport waitresses, Daniela Muffler and Shelly Shift. I do have them both. I reviewed them a while ago, and I decided to bring out, I think this is Shelly Shift right here, to show you guys that that emblem is indeed the exact same. No way, no how, right? And so my new theory for you guys is, cars on the road, it's not real. It's Mater's imagination. And so he's seeing all of these characters he's seen before just in a different way. You know, like when you have a dream and you see somebody you know, but in a completely different setting. That's why all of the models in the circus are cars that we've seen before. There's a Gremlin. There's Giuseppe Motorosi's model. There's Suki's model, like a Chigo Chisaki. That model is there too. There's a minivan. And there's this pity as well. Sit on that. Chew on that big boy sexy ass theory. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know. Do you prefer the plane or the pity? I prefer the plane. But both are pretty cool. And this honestly brings up a pretty wild theory. Alright guys. Thank you for watching. Bye now.